Good morning, Paris. So it is currently the afternoon. Sorry that I just lied to you and gaslit you by saying good morning. It is currently 20 past two. I don't know if you can see this here, but we can see that my eye is my lock screen from getting my eye done yesterday. So, I'm very excited for today. Let's do the window one last time. Well, I mean, we have tomorrow morning. I'm getting deja vu to filming this exact same similar thing at the previous hotel where I'm like, this is the last morning. <laughs> I wake up tomorrow and extend the trip. No, I actually can't this time. So here we go. Very beautiful. It is bitterly cold today, like bitterly cold. Um, so much so that there's actually a snow warning in Paris today. So it might snow, it's that cold. So I have my hat on, I just wash, you know whenever you wash your hair and you're like, oh I can show my hair off, but it's like too cold, so I'm just saying fuck it and putting my hair up in a hat. Um, need food, need food. I had a great sleep, I slept off a lot of the sickness from yesterday, so I'm just like, I'm like, hungry, hungry, hungry. <laughs> but one thing that was really cute was yesterday I got a bunch of water and juice delivered, because I was like, basically like drowning myself in fluids to try like, recoup myself, and it worked. But look what the sweet workers did, they did Adam with a little heart on it, it made my day, it made my night, so, anyway. Let's go get food! I feel like I have to whisper because it's like really quiet in here. But I'm in this really cute restaurant in Little Italy and it's like really like quaint and like really beautiful and I like, this is what it looks like. I'm like the only one in here. The guy who's serving me is so beautiful and he looks like one of the guys that I used to get with, but like a more attractive French version. <laughs> so he's getting a good tip. <laughs> I ordered the French onion soup and cheeseburger and chips. I'm gonna eat well because we want to go for an adventure today. <laughs> Look how beautiful all these streets are. It's so beautiful. Okay, so if anyone's following along whenever I say what districts of Paris I'm in, I'm now in second, and I'm just walking in a straight line. I have no real plans for today other than just walk around and enjoy myself and take in the sights on this last day. So come along with me, but the streets are just so beautiful, so movie-esque, I love it. My meal was so good, it was so good. The burger was so large that I had to literally just eat the meat of it because the buns were intense. Okay, so right over there is where the Christmas market was that we went to on one of the first days. That Ferris wheel is going like weirdly fast. Does anyone else think so? Anyway, look at this beautiful little area right here. Very beautiful little fountain here. Little birdies enjoying it. So many beautiful buildings surrounding it, as we can see. And I don't know if you can see, but right over there, that little point is the Eiffel Tower. Woo! All the seagulls are making me feel like I'm back in Brighton. Okay, so I just had a nice little sit down over here, and I was literally just people watching and enjoying. There's not that many people around today because it is on the tad of cold side, and by that I mean when my snot comes down, I'm pretty sure it just turns into a fucking icicle. Is that too graphic? Anyways, I think this view is just beautiful. I actually need to take a picture of this. Hold on. Let me go to my natural habitat. Oh my god, wait, if I do this, you're in it too. Oh my god, wait, look at this photo. I don't know why I've never done this before, but you're in it too. Oh my god, it's like our photo from Paris. Oh, you look so good, Bessie. <laughs> so, um, who's texting me? My mother. I'm thinking of going to this place called Angelina's, I think? I think? It has like, authentic hot chocolate. I've seen it on TikTok. Apparently my entire trip this time is inspired by TikTok. So, we are going to be going there. So many little birds making so many silly, silly little noises. It's like authentic hot chocolate and like authentic like cream in it. Oh my god, these birds are beautiful. Hi, they're walking at an angle. Wait, I've never seen birds like this in my entire life. What the fuck? They're beautiful, but I've never seen birds like this, ever. 
my goodness. Anyway, I've always wanted to do it. Like, I mean, last Christmas I saw these videos and it was right after I had left Paris and I was like, damn it, I want to go. Now, it's like an Uber right away, so I'm thinking of walking to like one of the main streets. I'm sorry, this view is just so beautiful, isn't it? I'm thinking of walking to one of the main streets and getting an Uber and going there and I'm, I'm really full for my meal, um, but they do close because they're just like a cafe. So, we're gonna go and we're gonna have some delicious hot chocolate. My concern is that it tastes like too chocolatey and I'm not even gonna enjoy it, but I think the experience will be so top tier, so top tier. I'm a chocolate lover and I think I might enjoy it. So anyway, we're going to walk and, oh my God, someone else is vlogging. Hey vlogger. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get an Uber to Vangelina's now and get a delicious, delicious, delicious hot chocolate. And <laughs> watch, they like don't even have it or they're closed. Oh my God, look at this view right now. Isn't this just incredible? Okay, I went to the hot chocolate place and the line probably had probably 60 to 80 people in it, but we'll talk about that later. But first of all, this view is more important. How beautiful is this? And over here, by the way, is the Ritz Hotel, which is the last hotel of Princess Diana, if you all remember, whenever she checked out of that hotel and that's when everything happened. Um, it was the Ritz Hotel, I'm pretty sure, right over here. So that's a bit of sad information, but it's a very beautiful area. Okay, so here it is, the Ritz Hotel in Paris. So it's almost crazy to imagine like how many paparazzi were in like this area, like all surrounding here, like kind of like at the front doors and then was it that they went out the back doors or something like that? It was it was something anyway, but um, we're all watching the crown obviously right now, so this is like um, a very big moment in it, and I'm obsessed with Princess Diana as it is, so I mean, I've been to Paris many times, but I've never thought to actually come here, and there was someone who just walked past and took a picture with it, who had like a Princess Diana tote bag, I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, so, what I'm gonna do right now, I wasn't even planning on walking here, I was at the hot chocolate place, and this is, I'm no longer taking advice from TikTok, fuck TikTok, because there was, as I said, there could have been a hundred people in line, and I'm not even exaggerating with that, because the entire street had people lined up, and I thought, oh, it's just a busy street, no, it was all for this place, and then I googled it, and it's like, a really big deal, or whatever, um, but I was talking to someone in the queue and they were like, yeah, we've been here for 45 minutes already. They're waiting table by table. And she was from California and she was basically like, did you find it from TikTok too? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I think TikTok just has everyone here. So little advice if you're traveling, if you find something on TikTok, probably don't go there because everyone else is probably have the same idea. But anyway, this hotel was like, just like within walking distance of it. Again, I wasn't planning on coming here, but I was just walking. And then I come across this like really big, street. It's a very big open street. It reminds me of um, Austria. It reminds me of being in Vienna. This is what kind of all the streets in Vienna look like. Or well not all but whatever I saw in Vienna. And it's very beautiful. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna look up paparazzi videos from the Ritz Hotel with Princess Diana to kind of solidify even more my knowledge of being here. So let's do that. Yeah so there she is. And that was the entrance of the hotel. So this part here with the street is right here. I'll well, give it a second to focus. Yeah, it's right here. That's what we're overlooking right now, which is absolutely crazy. Like all these different pictures from it. Now that being said, I know that the final time she left the hotel, they went through the service exit because all the paparazzi were flooding the street here. And I mean, this is like a paparazzi's like dream. I mean, like th this open space. Um, but I know it was the service exit that um, her and her boyfriend left at the, the final time. So I, I assume that's around here. I mean, I'm not gonna go looking for it, but I mean, I'm gonna turn in one of the streets and if it's there, I see it. But it's crazy to be here in general, if I'm honest. Very beautiful hotel. It's like hard to imagine like being in the footsteps of like 
historical people like that. Like I get that, I used to be like this way with like celebrities. By the way, this tree is humongous and beautiful. I used to be like that with celebrities, but I feel like I'm now more so like that with like historical people. And I would say Princess Diana is incredibly historical. Okay, and then here was the exit that they took. It's almost weird to be standing here. crazy to be here. Okay, I did a little bit of walking through 8th Avenue. It was just seeing like pretty streets and it was really nice. They had some Christmas lights, not many. It was it was mainly just people watching whenever I was there. And I was thank you so much. I was going to get my Uber and just go back to my hotel for a bit cuz I've been on the go for a bit and then I realized that I'm right beside the Arc de Triomphe which is something I love seeing every time I'm in Paris. And I'm pretty sure the hotel that I always stayed at, well, one of the hotels I always stayed at, is like up one of these streets. I don't know, it's up one of the streets. Um, but anyway, I can see the Arc de Triomphe like right directly in front of me. And I was like, I'm not gonna see it again before I leave on this trip. So we may as well go together and see it. I'm still bitter about not getting my hot chocolate. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I just wanted it. Why can I not get it? <laughs> so anyway, we are now walking and I don't know if you can see, but I can see it's barely up there. Well, I find it. We see it. <laughs> I say this every time I'm here and if you watch all my vlogs from Paris, you'll know, but this street is like one of the most dangerous, no laws apply streets when it comes to parking. They just come from every single angle and it's fucking terrifying. Anyway, that was beautiful to see. No time to go back to the hotel. I've done a lot today. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. I was literally gonna be like, okay, bye, ending the clip. But I can just see this from the distance of all of the Christmas lights. Holy shit. Oh my fucking God. I've never seen this many Christmas lights in my life. Oh my god. Look at this, and you can see the light from the Eiffel Tower, the beam down there. Oh my god, look at this. This is insane. It like stretches all the way down there. Oh my god, this is beautiful. What's funny is the last time I was at this spot, yeah, my hotel must be very near them because this was where my, like we walked in the street. It was when me and my mom were here for the Lady Gaga concert. Last time we were here, the Tour de France was happening and this entire street was uh, cordoned off and it was literally just all the bikers and it was the Tour de France. So, something cool to note. This is so beautiful. I've never seen this amount of Christmas lights in my entire, entire life. <gasps> it's gorgeous. I'm glad I came down the street. This is the Champs de Lys, I think, or Champs, something like that. This is beautiful. Okay, now they're all sparkling. And then we see the Arc de Triomphe up there. I nearly got hit by that man, but it's my fault because I'm so close to the bike lane. Look at this. Ah yes, and the signs of Paris. There we go. Okay, hi. Oh, I just got an Uber three minutes away. So it is currently half night, and I was literally just in a bar getting a glass of wine, and I was hoping to get a glass of wine and like a, a, a small platter of cheese or something like that. The I had a not the nicest uh, experience whenever it came to the workers. Um, I was like doing my order in French and they basically, every time I would do my order in French, they were acting as if I was <laughs> speaking some, I don't even know, like if I was speaking like Lutter, which I possibly could have, but I was saying like, you know, like I was doing my cheese and wine order. And then she like gave me over to the manager and then the manager was like, oh, like you speak English. And it, was, it was just like not the nicest, but I had already ordered a glass of wine at that stage. So I sat in and it was really weird. I just wanted to finish it. So I finished it and I'm now here. So I'm now going to over to the cafe that I really like in Paris because this will be my last time going for a while. Um, and I know they have a good cheese platter for like a single person. Now the problem is they might not be serving food at this stage. 
So if they're not serving food at this stage, then we will just enjoy the views of the Eiffel Tower <laughs> and not have cheese and wine. But yeah, I mean, it has not been the most successful 30 minutes, I will tell you that. And the wine wasn't even that good as well, so. Anyways, where's my Uber? <laughs> All right, so it is currently, let me check the time, it is 11.10 and I have just finished my meal at that lovely cafe that I go to every single fucking time I'm in Paris and <laughs> I've had quite a lot of wine. I've had quite a lot of wine, but that's the usual. I, this is the best thing, the best thing. <laughs> The best thing about a lot of glasses of wine is the public fear of vlogging leaves. So I couldn't give a fuck that I'm vlogging in public right now. And that is so amazing. Like, look at all these people. They could be watching me film right now. Who gives a shit? <laughs> but anyway, I... Hold on. Let me actually, like, try to figure out where I, <laughs> where I am. I figured out where I am. Okay, so first of all, this is the last time we're gonna see Miss Queen Eiffel. I feel like, <laughs> I don't even wanna be like, oh, this is so sad, because I know I'll be back in like a month. <laughs> I like come back to Paris so often at this stage that I, like, it's not even like, ooh, when's the next time? I'm like, I'll see you again in like two weeks. What I am gonna do is walk to the hotel that I always used to go to when I was in Paris, which is the Pullman Eiffel Tower Hotel. And I'm gonna get my Uber from there. I'm also freezing, so I'm like shivering a lot. So please don't think I'm that drunk, because I'm also shivering a lot, so I'm like shaking over my words. So I'm gonna get my Uber from there. I had a great time at that cafe, but yeah, they were pushing the limits of Adam tonight. They were like, one more glass, one more glass, one more glass. And I was like, because I told them it was my last night in Paris. Also, they made me so insecure. <laughs> they, I went there and I got a cheese platter, like I said. I had a side of bread with it and then I finished my bread and then it was like in a little basket, like a little small one. So I finished that and then I ate another, er, so I ate that entire thing. And then they come over and they were like, oh, we'll refill it and I'm like, Oh, merci beaucoup, thank you. <laughs> so they refill my bread. Oh my god, there's people going into the Eiffel Tower. This is so late. Don't y'all have better things to do? No offense. So, they refill my bread. And they give me more bread. And then, I eat a lot of that bread. I don't finish it, but I eat a lot of it. And they, the same guy comes over to me and he goes, Uh... No more bread for you, monsieur. <laughs> uh, you'll thank me later. No more bread for you. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> and he like made this big deal and he was like speaking so lightly about like, no more bread, you'll thank me later. And I felt so embarrassed. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, like this is like the first time in my life that I've like... been carefree eating so much bread. <laughs> and the guy comes over and is like, no more for you. <laughs> I was like, fuck's sake. I have now noticed that there's someone calling me. I have no idea who's gonna be. It's gonna be my mother, Kat or Ellie. Oh my God, it's an anomaly. It's my friend Jennifer. Okay, so I'm waiting for my Uber, but I've snuck into the hotel that I used to stay at. Oh my God, my eyes are fucked. My eyes are red. I've snuck into the hotel that I used to stay at whenever I was in Paris, which is the Pullman Eiffel Tower Hotel. I have these like red marks right here. I have, I can't stop them. When it's winter time, they're gonna come. I've, I can put Vaseline on them. Shut the fuck up. So, and they've decorated it so beautiful. And I mean, this hotel like makes me so emotional whenever I'm in here because it reminds me of I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. It's like not even worth it to cry, fuck me. I'm, I was 
gonna tell a fucking happy story. Hold on, give me a moment. It reminds me of my first time in Paris, and it was that first time I ever met Emma Chamberlain, which was my biggest inspiration at that time. And that was like a, a really big thing that kept me going and inspired me to continue with YouTube and, and continue with my social media dreams. And this hotel means a lot to me. But anyway, being in this hotel is like a really beautiful moment of like, oh, look how far we've came. And the last time I was in this hotel, it was a lot cheaper by the way. This hotel has gotten so fucking expensive. Like, when I stayed at this hotel, I stayed here like three or four times. It was like always expensive, like on the more expensive side, but it was never as expensive as what it is now. We're still gonna stay in your fucking lobby without paying fucking, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying, but shut the fuck up. It's like whatever happened to the loyal fan base that stayed here. Anyway, my Uber's here. Merci, au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> oh my god, I said au revoir so many times. <laughs> <laughs> so many times. Yeah, they like have decorated for Christmas night, which they never did whenever I stayed here. It's like they put their budget up whenever I fucking left. <laughs> oh no, that man's coming out. I feel like he's gonna kick my ass. He's behind me. I'm scared he's gonna kick my ass. My Uber's here. Hi. I'm gonna go bonsoir. 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 For Adam. Adam. Ah, oui, oui. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Thank you.